Hello, welcome to the Storm Report. I'm Alexis. We have lots of news to bring to you today. Here's Gavin with details on why you should get your yearbook before it's too late. The yearbook staff is working hard to make this a memorable yearbook, including a section that's all in 3D. Each yearbook will come with its own pair of 3D glasses. Yearbooks are 50 bucks. Go to the business office to put in your yearbook order before the end of the month. Skyview's winter semi-formal is coming up the first week of second semester. Alexis Bergeron has details. The winter formal's theme is Northern Lights, and the commons will be sparkling for this glamorous event. The winter formal will be the first Saturday of the second semester, February 4th. Tickets are 12 bucks with an ASB card, or 15 without. They'll be $20 if you want to wait and buy them at the door. If you want to bring a guest from another school, it's kind of a process. So talk to the business office about what you'll need. We'll have an assembly on Friday the 3rd, where the court, five senior girls, and five senior boys will be announced. Back to you. First semester finals are next week, so finish strong. Here's a look at the weird final schedule. On Wednesday the 25th, you'll go to the first and second period. Then the lunch slash fourth period will split. Then third period on Thursday the 26th, it'll be fourth and fifth period finals then lunch and fourth, then wrap it up with a sixth period. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? This storm report, Ryland Bambi went to find out. Hey Skyview, I'm Ryland, and to take a break from the news, I'm creating my own segment called Ryland on the Street. It's kind of like, it's kind of like Billy on the Street, but it's Ryland, because my name's Ryland. Wow. How'd you do that? How do I discreetly hold a bucket of candy? Do we look cool right now? No. I think we kind of look cool. Hey, does one of you guys want to get interviewed for a chance to win lots of cool candy? Do you think <laughs> Do you think if I just stand in the middle, people are going to be like attracted and want to want to get an interview, huh? What if I just hold up the candy? Uh-oh. Somebody's coming to get it. Somebody's coming to get it, I'm telling you. So it's, are you smarter than a fifth grader, OK? Oh, damn, damn. Do, do you think you are? Uh, no. Well, then you're going to be good at this. All right, so we're going to start with first grade. If you cut a quarter into thirds, how many pieces do you have? This is for first grade. Three. That's correct. What was the first day of the 20th century? January. No, you have to like name an occupation. That oh, name an occupation. Braden Reese. All right. Um, occupation. I uh, sometimes uh, just sit at the corner of the gas station. Snow, rain, and sleet are all examples of what? Water affected by temperature. I'm looking for a certain term here. Can I phone a friend? You can phone a friend. Who do you want to phone? Yeah. Hey. You, hey, get, you got one, though. Anyone know science? Anyone know science? I took biology, chemistry, and human anatomy, so. Precipitation. Hey. January 1st, 2000. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Would you like to phone a friend? Yeah. Pass. Did you say pass? January 1st, 1900. Wait. Wait, 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 wait. First grade. Yes. Final answer? Yeah. Incorrect. 1901. 1901. I don't know if you're filming right now. Are you looking at, I feel like your camera work kind of needs work. What continent are the pyramids of Giza located in? Africa. That's correct. Choose the correct spelling of the word. I work on a building blank. S-I-G-H-T, S-I-T-E, or C-I-T-E? S-I-T. S-I-T? That's correct. What continent are the pyramids of Giza located in? Egypt. Want to go second grade? Do I get one? You get one? Yeah. But you have to give it back if you get it wrong. At any point. Okay. Oh, that's the, why did I do that? What state will you find the Windy City in? Canada. Want to go to second grade? Yeah. What are the first ten amendments to the Constitution called? The Bill of Rights. Bill of Rights. That's correct. Hey. All right. Do you want to keep going? Yeah. All right. All right. What planet is closest to the sun? Saturn. Saturn. Final answer? Yeah. Do you want to stop here? Incorrect. What country is the Taj Mahal located in? France. France? Sure. Final answer? Yeah. Okay. It's incorrect. It's India. I said that. I don't think you said that. What are the five interrogative or question words? When, what, where, why, how. What is the longest river in the world? Is it the Nile River? Screw it. I'm going to lock in. That's incorrect. It's the Amazon River. What is the smallest continent in the world? Europe. Yeah. Oh, no, it's, it's, Austria. it's Australia. You said Europe. No, I didn't. I didn't. You said Europe. Oh. The Statue of Liberty was a gift from where? France. 
Can I double it and give it to the next person? You can't double it and give it to the next person. <laughs> but yeah, if you want to go to second grade, you can get two. But if you mess up, you get nothing. Julius Caesar was the emperor of what empire? The Roman Empire. All right, all right. Yeah, I'll keep going. I'll keep, keep going, going third grade. What object, beginning with the letter Q, did people write with during the Middle Ages? A quill pen. That's correct. That's correct. Uh, who paid for the for Christopher Columbus's explorations? Who? King and Queen of Spain. Yeah. Okay, I'll give it to you. I'll give it to you. You want to go up to fifth grade? Yeah, I'll go up to fifth grade. Often seen at the end of a sentence, the three trailing dots that indicate the omission from speech or, the, or writing of a word that is superfluous or able to be understood from contextual clues are known as ellipsis. Very good. Take five of your choice. Now to Skyview Sports. Tonight's a big game for basketball, uh, for boys basketball. The Storm are at home hosting Prairie in the Storm Cellar. Freshmen at 4, JV at 5.30, and varsity at 7. Saturday, there's a gymnastics meet here at Skyview, and also on Sun Saturday, wrestling uh, is in action. Girls have a huge meet at Lakes High School in Lakewood. Boys varsity has a Bearcat invite at WF West in Shahales White, while boys and JV Wrestling is at King's Way for a meet against teams from around the area. Good luck, Storm Squats. Uh, what's up, Stormies? Uh, I'm Sky with your weekend weather. Uh, it's pretty cold outside right now. Uh, this weekend you'll be seeing more of this, 30s and 40s. Uh, on Saturday it's pretty rainy. But yeah, I'd just stay inside this weekend. And that's it. Lunch! What's up, Storm Nation? Who's ready for a delicious week of food? For breakfast, we're going to have a breakfast fuel kit on Monday, a sun butter bar or cereal on Tuesday, French toast steaks and sausage on Wednesday, and a breakfast burrito on Thursday. For lunch, we'll be having great things like a pizza pocket on Monday, a lasagna roll up on Tuesday, a burrito bowl on Wednesday, and chicken tenders and a roll on Thursday. And if you're wondering why there's nothing on Friday, it's because there's no school. Three-day weekend. Well, anyways, here's hoping you have a great week. That does it for us. Thank you for watching the Storm Report. Make sure you smash that subscribe button and catch us every week as we show you what's going on around Skyview. Have a nice weekend. Perfect. Weary traveler, Sister